And now, it's time for the Allen Allen Show. Brought to you by the Book Lover Circle. In this episode, questions about Harry Potter, intergalactic battles, and other stuff. Your host, Alan and Alan. I know what you're thinking. It's boring, I know. But don't. Get your British brooms ready, because we are going on a trip to Hogwarts. Yes, Harry Potter. We're going to talk about Harry well, today we are going to answer all your Potter fans' questions, and today we have Alan having the questions. Let me just shuffle them. Okay, so what exactly are Dementors? You so, you might remember seeing a dark creature floating in the Harry Potter's Deathly Hallows. So, they feed upon humans happiness, causing depression and despair near them. And well, today we will have Alan demonstrating what is a Dementor. This is a Dementor. Dementors are gliding wraith-like dark creatures and guards of Azkaban prison. And in case you don't know what a wraith is, a wraith is a ghost or ghost-like image of someone they feed up upon human happiness, and thus cause depression and despair to anyone near them. This can also consume a person's soul, leaving their victims in a permanent negative state. They are known to leave a person as an empty shell. But of course, there is a way to repel them, and that is by the Patronus Charm, a magical spell created by thinking about good memories, like the first time you tried eating anything. So now, you know what? Dementors? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I remember an article talking about Dementors, and oh. how the author J.K. Rowling came with the idea of that. You do? Yeah, I do. J.K. Rowling's mother had multiple sclerosis and died in 1990. And after that, Rowling suffered a depression. She used the experience to categorize the, the character Harry Potter. And basically, the manners are creepy little creatures that feed on humans' emotions. A uh, quote is so difficult to describe someone who's never been there because it's not sadness. So, Rowling told Arthur Winsbury. Sadness is the cry to feel, but it's cold, the absence of feeling, hollowed out of feelings. That's what the matters are. I, think I had tendencies mm -hmm. towards depression from quite young. Mm -hmm. It became really acute um, when I was sort of uh, 25 to 28 uh, w w w was, a very, was a dark time. Mm -hmm. It's that absence of feeling and it's, it's even the absence of hope that you can feel better. Mm -hmm. And it's so difficult to describe to someone who's never been there. Mm -hmm. But it, because it's not sadness. Sadness is, I know sadness, sadness is not a bad thing, you know, to cry and to feel. But it's that, it's that cold absence of feeling, that really hollowed out feeling. That's what the Dementors are. Standing in the doorway was a cloaked figure that towered to the ceiling. Its face was completely hidden beneath its hood, and then the thing beneath the hood, whatever it was, drew a long, slow, rattling breath, as though it were trying to suck something more than air from its surroundings. An intense cold swept over them all. Harry felt his own breath catch in his chest. The cold went deeper than his skin. It was inside his chest. It was inside his very heart. So, in fact, we actually face a lot of dementors every single day. Oh, like how some people feel when they get stressed in school? Kinda. We might be disappointed about doing poorly on a test or feeling sad over an argument with a friend or a breakup. Like feeling sad when your best friend leaves to study abroad? Yup, but when you're depressed, you may feel hopeless for weeks, months, or even longer. It can seem like no one understands, so long-term sadness is a sign of depression. I see. J.K. Rowling's actually writing Harry Potter based on life. So what are we gonna talk about next, Alan? Yeah, Star Wars, one of the most popular books of all time. It's also famous for lightsaber who's used by Jedi. Oh, 
Oh, you mean the one who has the red swords? No, with blue swords. Red represents evil and blue represents justice. Oh yeah, right. Usually people just know the movie as a guy fighting a dark evil guy with a mask on it. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the question is, what is the met metaphor used in the film? Well, one interesting thing about the movie is that they used a lot of philosophies that is connected to the Force. And there's a sharp distinction between the good light side and the evil dark side, which the good side contains justice and the dark side contains hatred, aggression, and malevolence. Oh. is a common saying among Jedi to wish other Jedi have safe travels. Someone may be considering that the light and the dark can be compared with yin and yang in Tao Sun. Although yin and yang doesn't represent the light and dark, it actually represents the balance between opposites. Yeah, sounds fascinating. What, what do you say? Let's go watch some Star Wars, shall we? Oh yeah, let's go! Let's Come go! On. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.